So I just checked in in my hotel here in Sadova and um, I had some lunch there and uh, yeah it stopped raining so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to explore something here in Sadova. Um, I didn't really do any research on this place but I saw there is a nice lake so I'm going to check out that lake it's called Laser Lake or something I'm not sure yet uh, we will see in a minute and uh, I also need to do some groceries because yeah I will be three days on the road well on the trails so I need to have some supplies at uh, Lakul Laser or Laser Lake in Sadova and uh, on the way I saw a sign uh, be careful for bears so I definitely need to watch, watch out here and I will be hiking in this wilderness for three days straight so yeah I will need to be prepared so these are the signs I will be following tomorrow and I checked um, this route that is coming from there is going like that and uh, towards the lake. Uh, I'm not going to do that route. That's actually the part before I start. So this goes to Sadova and I go from Sadova. So uh, I will not hike here. So it's nice to be able to see it anyway. Just a quick stop here. And uh, it looks promising. I think it will very be, be very beautiful, the road. Looking very forward uh, to this trip actually. And here we go on the Via Transilvanica, the first day. Currently still in Sadova. I just left the hotel, Casa Ambra. Had a good breakfast there. My backpack is pretty heavy with all the camera gear and all the rest. But uh, we will be all right. It's not raining. That's already a good sign. So let's go. And I have made it to the start of the Via Transilvanica section of Sadova. Uh, this pole here marks the very beginning and every kilometer there will be another one of these. Uh, I already walked two kilometers because my hotel was two kilometers away but uh, now I'm at the official start so uh, let's do this, let's go. About three kilometers in into the Via Transilvanica from Sarovo to Paul Mestesanis, and uh, the views are spectacular, really, especially here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, that promises for the next uh, coming days. Now, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Where well, your heart is the sun and it shines. Says it opens. Yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines. Is it open? Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. No uh, English. English. Ah. But uh, no. Uh, no. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the mountain. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing. With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Why would you look outside yourself When you have 
all of the world inside. Why would you look outside yourself when you left all of the world you say, inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you left all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you left all of the world inside? Looks like I'm heading back into civilization after about five kilometers. Not sure what town or village this is. We'll see. This village here that I'm passing through right now, that I'm almost leaving actually, this is quite amazing. Everybody greets me with a smile. They wave at me. It's really nice. Everybody seems to be in a good mood. Or maybe they're just friendly like that. It's really nice. I love it. I wish more people were like that. Yeah. For this kind of uh, people, you need to go outside the cities where people are not in a rush and they live slowly. That's. Those are the people that really appreciate life, you know, my opinion. I just got out of the village. There's a bench here behind me. There are two water sources so I can refill my bottle here. I have lots of water actually, but I will refill anyway to be sure. But that means again extra weight on my back, but yeah, it's all good. I need the water. And I just met three other people that are doing also the Via Transilvanica and they're doing the same route as me. Uh, but they started a few days earlier. But uh, yeah, let's have uh, something to eat now because I'm pretty much halfway, a little bit less. And then uh, off for the next 10 kilometers. Yeah, I know, a lot of plastic. But that's the only cheese they had. So yeah. Now let me try some of the fresh mountain water. Mm. Yeah, tastes pretty good actually. And off we go again into the bear country. But my bell is still on again. I uh, can, it's with a little magnet, so it can be off. Uh, you can shut it. And that's what I did when I was walking through the village to not draw too much attention to me. But now uh, we're back in bear country, look. Attensi la ursi dupa inserare. Beware of bears after sunset. Via Transilvanica. Well, it's not sunset yet, so... And I have my bell. Hope that helps. <laughs> a video for YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna be stars now? <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> we'll go viral someday. <laughs> have something to eat. Very nice. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. Belgium. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. And you? This is your house. You live here? Uh, no, this is uh, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. okay. yeah. yeah. the bridge. 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 Formos. 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 Yeah, very beautiful. This area Thank here, I'm very impressed. Uh, oh, wait. Follow me. If you want anything, yeah. <laughs> we are moving around, something around here. Should I take my shoes off? No, shoes no, off? no. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
It's traditional. Oh, it's nice. It's traditional to um, recondition, recondition Ah. This year, uh, uh, 16, 16 years. 16 years? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, oh, yeah, you can my, see. Yes. And From your grandparents? Yes, grandparents. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice. And everything is homemade, probably. Yes, made, handmade. Handmade. Yeah. yeah, all handmade. Everything. Everything. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you come here in the summer only, or also in the winter? Uh, no, in the winter I stay in the home. Yeah, and the yeah. winter is too much snow here, or? No, 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 no. no? no? A, a very snow. Snow, very snow. High. High, high. Yeah. High. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, very beautiful. Yeah. Nice. I'm making a video, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. No problem. No problem. Ah, oh, it's very nice. And how do you do for electricity? You have electricity? Yes. Uh, come here. Uh, yeah, come I'm, here. I'm interested yeah. to see. <laughs> ah. Follow me. Ah, with a generator. No. No? No, it's not run. Ah, Water. that's for hydro. Uh, ah, hydro power. Yeah, hydro power. Oh, nice. And it's this, enough? This farm. Yeah, the chicken and everything. <laughs> Look. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. And it's enough? It's enough? Yes, it, uh, it's permanent. Ah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm, I, uh, can I go closer? What? Can I go see you? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. So you just make sure the water always comes and... Yeah, yeah. This uh, thing produce... It's a dynamo. Dynamo. Yeah. Ah. And then you take the wire all the way there. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and in the winter you don't have electricity no, then? No. Uh, there, there is no water? No. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there exists the water. Um, there are no, no, my many, many flukes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. And you have enough for the light, for um, coffee, for enough electricity? Oh, no, 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 coffee is the gas. Ah, with gas, gas. ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gas. No. Yeah, not electricity no, for everything. Electric. Yeah. No. Electricity ah. what uh, illuminated the home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> and all the houses do with hydro here. There are other houses also hydro power. Da? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, everything, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're coming here? <laughs> Look. Ah, yeah, TV, television, yeah. everything. Oh. Yeah. oh, nice. With a satellite. Uh, satellite? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Many condition for the life. It's enough, it's enough. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh. oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you need? You have light, yeah. you have TV, you have coffee. <laughs> uh, and uh, in the main bedroom, he constructed uh, inventor AC. Ah, AC. Da. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. AC for uh, the heat. For the, the bedroom, main bedroom. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Let's try the the foot a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already eat something, but a little bit more because it looks really good. Hmm. Oh, Good appetit. Thank you. <laughs> How you say in uh, Romanian? Um, Zakuska. 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 Hmm. Și castraveți murați. That's the name of the... La asta cum se spune, la șuncă. 
Slaninuțe. De la animaluțele noastre. Vă dă și cheese? Nu. Cheese, cheese. Cheese specific zone. Traditional cheese. From here? Yeah. Yeah. Produs here. From the ship? Yeah. Yeah. His mom is a professional. Cash. Oh, that's cash. Yeah. Wow, that looks really nice. It's so big. Conservation. Oh. Conservated. Oh. <laughs> Everything handmade here. Yeah, handmade. All it's, it's handmade. Healthy, healthy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, câte pahari se pune so everything is handmade here and uh, I just got a tour from the house. It's really nice. Everything is hydro powered and there's a generator as a backup. This lemonade uh, ah, what the is forest it? fruit. Forest fruit, berries, berries. Berries, strong berry. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Let me try. Mm. Oh, that's really good. That's what the bear, the bears also like, eh? Yeah. The bears? Uh, the, the bear, the urs, urs, uh, bears, uh, They also eat that, eh? No, no, no the bear. bear uh, the bear um, is... Uh, different. Ah, different? Different. Mm. Did you see sometimes bears yeah. here? The bear has a hatch with him. No, no. Um, do you speak uh, other uh, three tourists for uh, beer? No, no, no. no. Uh, here is product beer of home. Uh, specific zone. Beer? Beer. Oh. I, I, I it, thought you mean bear. Yeah. The Ursu. Ursu. No, no Ursu. It's specific uh, traditional uh, recipe. Re mm. It nice. is prepared this home. Everything is. Handmade. Uh, for him, a uh, malt, uh, many, many uh, water, uh, orzo, orzo, orzo. Ah, that's yeah. for eating, eh? Yeah. Cereale uh, orzo. Uh, Cereale, yeah. Cereal, yeah. yeah. Cereal. Cereal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand some words. Parlo a lingua italiana. Italian? France? France, no. Espanol. Espanol is vicino con italiana. Un poco, un poco. Un poco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what yeah. I was thinking initially that I wasn't sick of us. Nice, nice. So, what's your name? Uh, what's your name? Secarica. Secarica. We never heard of it. It's locally based. 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 It's that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> how, how far? How, more, how far? Yeah, we're halfway yeah. through, so this is the halfway point. Yeah, Only halfway? Yeah, for, from Please. the. Thank you. Thank you. So it's from Fondo Modave, where we met. Uh -huh. It's halfway there, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 It's a supplement that you take before, 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 Alcohol, ah, the, 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 the grease. Grease. It's yeah, the for the grease. grease. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the grease. Mm. So this with also with the onions. Digestive. <laughs> onions, so you can have it. It's really yeah, which, which, one? which one? This one? Yeah, this, this is This I tried fat. already. Yeah, yeah. This is onions. fat. You can have yeah. it with cheese as well. Together? Really, yeah, yeah together. It's really together. good. Yeah. Ah, like this? You take one of these? Yeah, yeah it's like And then what? Wait, I will take a small piece. Yeah. Not too big. And then no, like this? Yeah. Natural protein. Natural protein. I need it. For uh, walking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm, no? it's, it's really good. Mm.
Oh, it is very fresh. <laughs> the cheese yeah, is yeah. very fresh also. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna buy cheese. From them. You can buy here? Yeah, yeah you can yeah, buy. You can buy. Yeah, you can buy. Only conservants. <laughs> no conservatives. No, no, no. no, 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 no they are natural. Yeah, all natural. All natural. Yeah. natural yeah. Prepare uh, handmade or. Nice, nice. No, it's delicious. Yeah, you basically. Start. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about they, we don't, they don't know like a lot of like foreign language, but you get you this. You basically. Uh, natural, No, but it's because you're not Turkish, because uh, any language they're like. Yeah, sometimes you can easily communicate. Yeah, because uh, French and Spanish is similar a little bit. Yeah, no, it's Italian. 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 Oh, she knows Italian. 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 German. Italian. 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 A little bit German? Yeah. It's a little bit like my language. I speak Dutch. So, Dutch. Ah, for me, she's Dutch. Yeah. 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 Well, in Belgium, we also speak French. Oh, really? French and Dutch, yeah. French and Dutch? Oh, nice. No, well, I think there is basically European Commission, so it's mostly. You have a lot of like a lot of different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French, I think French is one of the, na the national languages. Yeah, in Flamanda as well. Yeah, that's what I speak. Right. But I, yeah. You speak Flamanda. I thought so. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar to <laughs> to German. Yeah. Yeah. Daca daca se mai mai nu e mai mare. Una jumate. De între ei, cauți că dacă nu fac nu fac la scurt timp, nu mai facem al doilea. Și atunci am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And good luck uh, with the new business. If uh, it ever, if I come back, I will visit the business. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't see. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 Why do you say arrivederi? Ah, that's in Italian. Arrivederi. 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 Ah. Very good. Bye. It sounds a bit like Italian. That's why. <laughs> now that was a really cool experience. Uh, these locals invited me in in their house, uh, showed me around, which was really nice. It's their holiday home actually. Uh, and they gave me all kinds of food, fresh cheese, and I actually bought some fresh cheese from them as well uh, for my lunch tomorrow, so I don't have to eat the, the hamburger cheese, or how you call that, the cheddar melting cheese or whatever. That will, the fresh cheese will be much better. And uh, I was walking for a while then with uh, three other people that I met before as well, uh, three Romanians that are doing the same route as me. So they're also going two more days after this. And uh, yeah, now they're a bit in ahead of me because I was flying my drone, but uh, I will catch up with them again. And uh, they're staying at the same hotel and everything. So yeah, definitely we will catch up again. But yeah, so far it's really nice. Um, the locals are super welcoming, which is ob obviously yeah, super cool. And even shortly after uh, visiting those people, there was another little sign on the trail that said to come and have a coffee with us in English. So there was a guy there, he showed up. A guy that uh, wanted to start a small business there also. So yeah, they're definitely getting a taste of tourism here, I think. Uh, but it's just starting. It's really, 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 everything is just starting. They're having the ideas, and but they're not really um, building it yet. They're just having the ideas and they will build it. But uh, yeah, so definitely come and he come here and do the Via Transilvanica. People are super friendly and that's the best part of it. Almost there. 
Yeah, I know it was difficult to book this thing because nobody spoke English. So I had to text them and with a translated message. Yeah. <laughs> For the next uh, night also, I, I, I called them, nobody spoke English. So I did the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have arrived in my hotel in Paul Mestekanish, I think you pronounce it. And there's basically only one hotel here and it costs 120 lire per night. Uh, let me give you a quick room tour. This is the bed, looks very nice. TV, way too heavy backpack. Camera. And this right here, the bathroom. With a nice shower, which I will use in a minute. First day on the Via Transilvanica from Sadova to Pasul Mestekanish was a success. I loved it, it was perfect. And uh, now I need a shower and get dressed, get something to eat. And we're off to another day on the Via Transilvanica. Let's go! Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, bye. Go back on the Via Transilvanica. Another day on the trails. 20 kilometers, about 800 meters in elevation gain. Let's go. Hopefully, no rain. The first block here. Let's do this. I'm a bit off on a late start. It's already 10 o'clock, but um, yeah, I will make it, I think. Just uh, try not to waste too much time. Let's go. Are you looking for mushrooms? Yes. Yeah, ah. I have uh, found some. They are oh, eatable. you can eat it? Yeah, they are eatable. Ah. And, and you, how do you prepare it? With water or? Just boil it or uh, fry it in the pan with some eggs and they are. Ah. The meat of the... the of this region here? Yeah. And um, is it... Uh, you need to be careful that you don't get the poisonous ones. Yeah, if, uh, if you are familiar with the... I can show you, I have something in my car. Oh yeah. The you have a book or something or pictures? Yeah, or? we are born here, so... We ah, you know how, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my father taught me and, you know... Ah, yeah, from generation to generation yeah. and... Yeah, ah. that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah, nice. So I was stopping here, looking uh, for some uh, raspberries or how do you call ah, them? Ah, the blueberries, blueberries. Okay, and uh, I have a movie. I found uh, this type, so just here, there were two, ah, I can show you. Those are so, special ones? Yeah, this one are special. Ah. Uh, we used to call uh, this uh, the king. Whoa! <laughs> so they Wait, are let me get a photo of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have... Uh, 
Wow, these are really big. Yeah, I have three <laughs> of them. How? That's more than one omelette, I think. Uh, <laughs> so they are uh, the king. Oh, that's really nice. These are the like the best that you can find. Yeah, this one. Oh, nice, I, nice, I nice. I don't know how, how it call, uh, how do you call it in in English, but they are the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's soft. Oh yeah, it's like a sponge here. Yeah. Yeah. Those are uh, uh, quite uh, old. How old are they? I don't know, but I, they are old. Oh, nice. Maybe a couple uh, more. But these one are uh, are the most uh, most f that you can find here. Most common. Yeah, the, no, the, those are the most uh, uh, quality. Ah, the taste is the best. Yeah, because they are smaller. They taste better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like with um, fruit. If it's yeah. smaller, usually the taste is stronger. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So oh, you found many the, already. <laughs> yeah, just here. Just here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. My, okay. And I knew there were some people uh, looking for mushrooms here because this area is very famous for the good mushrooms. There are different types here. Uh, and I just met Marius, which was looking for mushrooms and he found a lot of them and also really big ones. Um, very impressive. And uh, he said uh, it's very uh, delicious and very healthy. So yeah, maybe I'll find some myself, but I'm not too, too confident in doing that because you never know if they're poisonous. He actually told me if you want to know if they're poisonous or not, if there are little holes in it, that means the snails ate from it. And uh, if the snails can eat them, we can eat them as well. But still, I'm not too confident to try them. <laughs> well, I will try them if he finds them, but not my own. Uh, so yeah, really nice to meet him. Let's continue the trails. Someone just offered me a ride, but I think they don't understand that I'm actually here to hike <laughs> and not just to get somewhere. Uh, but they're nice and friendly. And uh, we just made it to another sign here. Beware of bears after sunset. Luckily, we're not after sunset. So yeah, let's go. And I think we made it halfway. This should be the pole of 10 kilometers. And uh, there are some signs there as well. It says two hours and a half. Yeah, two hours and a half to Vatra Dorne. So that's where I'm going. So that means uh, I'm pretty much halfway. I've been uh, hiking for about three hours now. And I need to go that way now. So uh, let's go. Continue the route on Via Transilvanica. I was looking for a lunch spot with a nice view and I think I found it. I will sit right there and uh, have this view for myself. It's a bit windy here but what a view, I mean. Let's eat something. Let's eat that fresh cheese from yesterday. I hope it's still good with some pesto rosso. Mm. Fresh cheese from yesterday, pesto rosso, bread. With this view, I mean, what more do you need really? So far I had been pretty lucky with the weather, but now uh, it starts to drip a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Uh, I brought a rain jacket, but prefer not to have any rain, of course. It's just a little bit for now. 
but uh, we'll see how it uh, changes because here in the mountains the weather can change very rapidly so yeah let's see well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind selling out or playing cover song just as long as friends and family sing along I don't need more money or a faster car, no Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no I'm gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hate Spain And on my face I feel you breathe I'm about 18 kilometers into the hike. I'm about two kilometers away from Vatra Dorne. I can see it right in front of me already, well, in the distance. So uh, let's go for the last two kilometers. Oh, fuck. Mmm, lekker. These beautiful horses are following me. <laughs> Probably they think I have some food or something. Ah, it seems like they're staying now. Bye. So uh, I was just preparing myself to get into the city, but apparently Pensionea Elenuka is already right here. So I made it already, it's like just next to the trail. That's probably why they advise it in the, in the guide. So I don't need to get in the city, even better. So uh, let's go and check it out. Hello. Hey Tim, how are you? Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah. In the same place here, man. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was uh, looking, I thought I had to go somewhere there, but it's just next to the trail. So. Because the yeah, lady yeah. was actually looking, uh, where, where, asking, was us asking us where, us where you were. And we were like, wait, didn't he, he didn't arrive yet? Because we were, as we were working here, when we came, we thought we, we thought you no, either passed us or... I took really my back. time, I took my time. <laughs> I did, yeah, nice. Yeah, we yeah. saw some uh, footsteps so when we were coming towards here, it was just one. And we were like, oh, probably he came uh, after us. Room number seven. Okay. Seven. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay, it's okay. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay? Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> ah. Ah, uh, mulțumesc! Cu plăcere, cu plăcere! Să vă simțiți bine! I need to... You want to pay now or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow. okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, vor veni ei, o să mai discutăm că nu prea știe engleză. Engleză. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So I've arrived in my pensionnaire here in Vatra Dorne and uh, it's 100 lei per night which is uh, the most common price I think and uh, the view is quite nice, I see the little church there uh, 
and the room is quite spacious as well. This is a double bed, single bed, a refrigerator, and the bathroom, toilet, shower. Wow, it's like a higher shower. And that's me after 20 kilometers uh, hiking, two days in a row, tomorrow three days. <laughs> okay, let's uh, refresh a bit because whew, I need it. And then uh, some dinner. Took a quick shower and now I'm heading to the center of Fatra Dorne to get something to eat. Uh, it should be this way. There are lots of restaurants here. It's, I don't think it's really a village, it's more like almost a city. It's pretty big actually. There are lots of hotels, restaurants and everything. So I definitely should find something. Uh, yeah, don't mind my non-matching rain jacket, but it was raining. So uh, yeah. I need to walk about 20 minutes to the center, so... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a city, there are lots of shops here. If you need to do some groceries, this is the spot for sure. You have everything here. And uh, it's quite busy also in the night. So it's definitely a happening place. So I just had my dinner here in Vata Dorne. I had some kind of chicken dish with polenta because polenta is everywhere in Romania apparently but I like it so no worries and uh, you can definitely see that this used to be more of a touristy city maybe even still I only see local tourists well I don't know Romanian tourists I mean because the lady didn't speak any English and paying with cart was not possible only paying cash was possible so uh, yeah there, there are some tourists, but they're not quite ready for all the tourism, I guess. But uh, I think you could hang out here in, a, in the night and have some drinks and everything. It would be nice. There's even a small market here. She didn't feel bad, Ah, sorry? English. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a market here, you can see, but it's mostly mostly closed now, it's night already. Hello? Hello? Speak English? Yes, English. Yes. You too? Yeah. Ah, nice. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. No, Belgium. No, no Belgium. <laughs> ah, people are really friendly here. I hope the city of Vatra Dorne finds its glory back like before. I don't know how it was before, but uh, I read it on the Via Transylvanica guide that it was a very touristy city and you can still see some tourists and you can still see nice buildings and everything. Some of them need maybe some renovations, but uh, yeah, could definitely be something again. And I think actually the trail tomorrow heads right through the city because I saw some signs there. You know the teas, the orange teas. I saw some of them, one of there, one is there as well. So we will hike right to the city, through the city. I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor anymore, anymore. Okay, we're off on our third day on the Via Transylvanica. It's raining really hard, which is not great. I'm heading to Poyana Negri, which is my last leg of this trip. And uh, it's raining really hard today, which is obviously not great. And I'm off to a late start as well. As usual, I'm the eternal procrastinator. 
but uh, yeah I'm dressed for the rain so I guess I hope it doesn't I don't get soaking soaking wet but uh, we'll make the best out of it so let's go Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's raining really, really hard. I'm completely soaked already. But according to the weather applications, it should stop around one o'clock. So uh, fingers crossed for that. So here in Vatra Dorne, there is also a ski slope, and there are some uh, cable cars, or how you call these? Chairlift. And it's actually operating with this weather. <laughs> but I'm going on foot. That would probably be a shortcut. So if you're in the mood for a shortcut, probably take these uh, chairlifts and you will be faster but uh, I feel like this will be the fastest 20 kilometers that I ever did with this weather <laughs> I'm walking really fast <sighs> what an annoying weather damn if you want to save yourself some time and energy definitely take the chairlifts up because uh, it's a combination of rain and sweat <sighs> Definitely having a bit of a hard moment here. It's uh, I'm only like four kilometers in and I'm already broken, completely wet. I have a blister from yesterday. My, my uh, shoes are full of water. When I get up there, I will try to dry them a bit. Oh, not a good start. First getting uh, ripped off by Ilinuka guest house, then a stormy kind of rain. Oh. Rainy days don't seem so wet. Stormy nights don't stay. From the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. Oh. This could be the best thing that I'll ever know mm -hmm. So apparently I can buy some drinks here and I could definitely use something But where is everybody? <laughs> I think they're cleaning out these cabins here Hello! Hi, can I buy some drink here? No. It's closed? But there is some drink there? No. It's not possible? Ah, okay, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, so there's a fridge full of drinks, but they're not for sale apparently. <laughs> well, I have water with me, so it's okay. So it definitely helped to feel much better now after wringing out my socks there was quite a lot of water that came out and uh, now energy bar that's what I need right now and then I'm going to continue because there's a lot of wind here and it's pretty cold so uh, lots of horses here Oh, even a pony! What oh, nice! Oh, look! Hello! Not too cold for you. I love how these horses just roam freely here. I mean, in Belgium, you always have a fence everywhere. Here, they just roam freely and. It's cool. 
Love it. Always nice. Finally, some positivity in my day. <laughs> Not sure why horses make me happy, but they do. So according to the Via Transylvanica guidebook, there's a big chance of seeing wildlife on this section here because uh, this forest, I guess it's the forest that I'm walking in right now um, has lots of old, old trees also a lot of berries and everything so it's the perfect habitat for bears and other all kinds of wildlife so I definitely need my bell trying to make some noise and everything need to vlog a bit to keep them away I also have my whistle maybe I should use it where is my whistle? Okay, my whistle, let's try it. Something I see quite frequently here in Romania is littering. I still don't understand why people do that. Come on, just put your garbage where it's supposed to be. Look at that there. I mean, that's full complete bags that they just throw here. Come on, what is wrong with you guys? This is the nature, you know, you need to respect it. Come on. Well, I'm not saying Romania is the worst country that I've seen, but it's pretty bad here. I didn't film much of it, but there are places where you can find beer bottles everywhere and yeah, it's pretty bad. Do something about it. That's how they install new roads here in the forest in Romania. So they're hard at work to create new roads. I don't think they will make asphalted roads, but just some roads that you can use for with uh, jeeps and maybe even a normal car. As it looks now, you can drive here with a normal car. Just went through the village and now uh, five kilometers more and I will be in Poyana Negri but the weather is really not on my side today ah, would love to take a lot of pictures but my, my camera cannot get too wet you know Whew, because it's very picturesque here look so all I can think about right now is a hot shower some dry clothes and a good old uh, soup and I think it's called chorba here I didn't try it yet but I might try it today for sure not might for sure <laughs> damn this weather oh. and I see these boxes everywhere here on the street I'm wondering what it is oh it's like uh, some kind of gravel and also here on the road you can see these metal things so I guess that's for in the winter anti-slip something like that just having a quick uh, break here I'm surviving on these uh, energy bars because I didn't have a proper lunch yet 
because I just don't find any spot. It's raining all the time. This is kind of a spot, but it will not stay dry too long, I think. And I texted uh, Robert from Casa Ambra and he will pick me up in Poyana Negri in about one hour, a little bit more than one hour. So the trip is coming to an end. Um, on, the, on the one hand, I'm happy because today was a bit of no, a shitty day. <laughs> Sorry for my language. But um, yeah, the weather was really not great. With good weather, it would, be, it would have been much nicer. <clears throat> but overall, the trip was really great. I, I loved it. I mean, but uh, I'm not done yet here in Romania. I'm definitely coming back. And now I have two more weeks, so I will explore much more. After this trip, I'm heading to the Danube Delta. I will make some videos there as well. So I hope the weather is a, a bit better there because here we're in the mountains. It's always a bit, uh, yeah, unsure. But there we are at the seaside. So I hope the weather will be really great so I can charge all my batteries. That would be great. So uh, let me finish this um, caramel, almond and sea salt energy bar. And then about uh, four kilometers to go. So uh, let's do it. Bye fellow members of the bell crew, I will miss you, bye! guys I made it to Poyana Negri uh, three days on the Via Transilvanica from Sadova to Poyana Negri about 60 kilometers in total about 2500 meters in elevation gain uh, it was totally worth it I would recommend you to do the same and um, maybe even more maybe even the whole Bukovina section or even the whole Via Transilvanica if you're very courageous so uh, yeah now it's time to head back to Sadova and uh, head on to more adventures in Romania. So uh, see you next time.